grabbing the puck, I can zoom in even more. Are you kidding me? Love it. Man, I am super stoked about this video right here. I couldn't even take a minute to go get my hair did and get ready for this video. I've been staring at this package for a week. What is it? BenQ reached out to me a little over a week ago about a product that's not even out in stores yet. They sent an email to me saying, hey, if we send you this product, would you be willing to give us an honest review to your viewers about what it is we're about to release? This isn't sponsored. I'm not paid to make this video. It simply emailed it to me. And when I checked out the product, two things got my interest. What they say it can do, and how much you're gonna charge you for it. I'm really hoping that they can deliver on what they say they can do at this price point. It's gonna be a game changer. So go ahead, take a minute, go get your coffee, get your soda, do whatever you gotta do to relax and get ready for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair did, get dressed, and we're gonna rock this package and this video together. Woo! All right, I'm gonna take a minute to relax and just process this whole thing. We're gonna check it out together in this episode of Level Up. I just want to say thank you to all of you guys who have subscribed that supported this channel. The views that we get are crazy. Even though we're not even at a thousand subscribers yet, I am getting flooded with emails that want to send me their products to review on this channel. And I know what you're thinking, man, this guy is always excited about everything that he reviews. How can he possibly be an honest review? He's never unhappy about anything. I get plenty of emails every single day from companies that want me to review their product. I do my research on it. If I'm gonna spend a week making a video, I wanna be excited about the product that we're doing. And I want it to be something that you guys can be excited about watching. And I don't want you guys to waste 20 minutes of your life watching a video that in the end I say, nope, it's junk. That's the whole point of this channel. If you see it on my video, it means I've researched it, means I've reviewed it myself, means I like it, and now I wanna share it with you guys. So we're still in that process and we'll determine if this video makes it to YouTube. For full disclosure, I'm not sponsored, I'm not paid to make this video. They sent this to me simply so I can give you guys my honest opinion about their product. And that's it. And that's what we're gonna do on this video today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair did, open this product up, and we're gonna see what this baby can do. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have inside the box. Number one, the first thing that catches my eye is I see that BenQ ID, I, I, why can't I say that? It is the BenQ Idea Cam, because I never have any good ideas, so I'm not used to saying that. It's really lightweight, decent size. It's got the ring light on the outside on the very top. All right, so there you go. There's a power button on there that powers on the ring light on the outer rim. And of course, it's attached to a USB cable. The things that always scare me most are webcams that come with a cable attached. I'd feel a little more comfortable with any webcam where I can replace the cable when I need to. It's a good cable, high quality cable. It's got braided sheathing on it. And here you see at the on the bottom here, there's a hole and that hole is where the mount would go. So here is the mount, it's got some girth to it. So it's magnetically attached. Not the strongest magnet, but it keeps it in place. If it's upside down, it's not gonna drop and break. It'll hold on to it. So there's a magnet inside there. There's also a thread underneath so you can mount it to a tripod. I like that, man, there's some girth to this. This is some serious weight. We have a hockey puck, I call it a hockey puck, but it's the BenQ puck, which is the desktop controller. There's no connection here for any kind of cable. It is battery operated as you see on the bottom, but don't worry. They've got you covered. They provide you batteries to get you started. So you got these little magnets right here and the metal screws right here, and that keeps it on. And you're like, okay, well, magnetically, that don't want to stay on. But as you can see, I am really trying to get this thing off. It's not coming off. It's really easy to get into. I like that, but impossible for it to come off on its own. BenQ's loving their magnet design. So we're going to just see, yep, that is magnetic. So it doesn't come off. It's going to protect your lens. I see a little glass in here. This is the magnifying glass that attaches to the webcam. Magnetic again. Man, they are so cool about doing things. You don't have to stop and sh 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 quick connect with the magnet. That doesn't come off. I'm really curious. I'm sure you're curious. Let's see what this thing can do. Okay, so now that we have it unboxed, I have it connected to my M1 Mac mini computer. And this is what it is installed. Right now I'm running it through OBS in 4K. If you wanted to buy this just for your main camera for a talking headshot, 
It'll do the job, but I'm gonna be honest with you. This is not what the idea cam is made for. It's meant to be your main camera for Zoom calls, meetings. Really, it's meant for production. It's meant for educators. It's meant for teachers. It's meant for content creators who are trying to get into the nitty gritty details of something that they're trying to review, to produce, to show, to get into places that webcams and cameras can't get when you're trying to communicate with another person, the fine details of things like computer chip boards, like Linus Tech Tips, when they're doing reviews about certain equipment, computer motherboards, this camera is gonna give you the ability to get into the nitty gritty and see the finest details, the smallest print that you can't get with another webcam, the Elgato Facecam Pro or the Insta360 Link. Those are $300 webcams, but the Idea Cam for $200, it does so much more and we're gonna get into it. So if you're looking at this shot and you're like, eh, not so much, this is not what it's meant for. It complements what it does. This is such an amazing tool for content creation, production, teachers, educators. It's unbelievable and we're gonna check it out. So here we go. All right, so let's take a deep dive into the BenQ Inspire and see what it can do. And as you see on the screen here, there is an app that comes with it and the app is really cool. There's two ways that you can use it. You can download the app and run it straight off your computer and you can also run the software off a web browser. It doesn't tax my computer. It's on a server somewhere else. So my computer's got a lot of stuff it's doing anyway. So the less load I can put on it, the better as far as eliminating lag and all those things. So we are going to launch Inspire. So again, you can go up in the right-hand corner. You could download the app. For the purpose of this video, we're going to use the browser-based software. Signing in through Google. And please connect your webcam. And we have. Okay, so there you go. So it's up close. Let me move it up a little bit. And I'm not able to put it on the center of my monitor because I have a light mounted to it right now. So I'm trying my best to put this in a good spot. Now, before you start to say, oh my gosh, that image is terrible. It is designed to give you 4K resolution quality for the in-depth, hard to reach places. I'm gonna show you in the upper left-hand corner, there's an icon, you can add a source. So you can do split screen. Split screen, split screen. Now, by doing split screen, I'm able to use two sources. Now, this is where the idea cam just bam hits the home run. I can add a camera with a better image for my talking headshot. So here I can go with, let's just say right now I have the Insta360 link currently connected to my computer as a webcam. And here he is over here and it's in automatic mode. Let me turn on the AI tracking. So what's cool now is if I team this up with the Insta360 link, that's a $300 webcam. And you put the two of these together, oh man, now this is where it gets really exciting. I can now take my idea cam off its mount, reach out and just grab it because it's magnetically attached. There we go. Hit my focus button on the puck. That brought it in. Now, when I start using the idea cam for this feature, it's not grainy. There's not a lot of noise. It's crystal clear. I feel like I'm getting that 4K quality. This is what it's meant to do. Take my magnifying glass, just snaps on magnetically. Turn power on the ring light. Look at the detail. And you're saying, well, man, can it get even closer? Well, by grabbing the puck and turning it. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. All right, let's select over here. Again, that's something else you can do. You can select which one you want to operate and move around. So we're going to click on the one on the left. I'm gonna take my puck and I'm going to zoom in with the puck and look at the detail. This is where that 4K resolution plus the zoom just blow your mind. I mean, are you kidding me? Check that out. And I can use this to even, again, operate my other camera that isn't even the idea cam. Just to kind of show you just how really detailed this puck can get when you're trying to use it, let's go ahead and try it on a computer board that you can't see. It looks pretty clean here, right? Looks nice and shiny. Check this out. Let's check this out. I love it. All right, here we go. Are you, re you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Look at that. Look at how detailed this thing gets. Look at the detail. 4K in zoom mode all the way up. Is that not amazing or what? And then again, grabbing the puck, I can zoom in even more. 
Look at that. Are you kidding me? And look at how zoomed in here. Look at all the tiny little fibers. Look at the fibers that are in this shot. Look at those fibers that are still in there. Are you kidding me? So you could sit here and be in a Zoom call, and I did connect this with a Zoom call, and I made a Zoom call and was able to share the screen, this screen, with a bunch of people, and they were able to see everything that you're seeing on this screen. So I could hold a meeting where we're going over software chips, things that are going on, coming off the production line. This puck is so convenient. This, this webcam, you hold it in your hand. It's the size, it's smaller than the size of your hand. And you're able to get down and get everything in fine detail and leave your cameras mounted where they are. You could use a Sony ZV-E10 as your main camera. I chose to go ahead and pair this with the Insta360 link because I could sit here, even though I'm in a smaller screen now, if I want to move around the room and just say, all right, guys, let's uh, hold on one minute. Let me go grab something over here. All right. So now I'm able to move around and hey, all right, let's talk about this product now. Seriously. What? 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 I absolutely love this thing right there. I mean, there's so much more this thing can do just to kind of show you just the detail. It's one thing to show how perfect and beautiful something is, but let's say you're, you're selling jewelry online. You're able to take this, right? Hold it in your hand. Look at that. Can you tell this wedding ring is old? Isn't that crazy? I'm able to take this and hold it up to a ring and show everybody the, the like if it's got diamonds in it or rubies or something and you're trying to sell jewelry and you want to show them all the little rocks that are in there and how beautiful it is and what it's made of. Look at that. Okay, now when you're up this close, you're like, oh, the camera shake. Look at that. Freeze frame. Seriously? Seriously. Cool. So cool. I mean, look at this. You're looking at my desk. And you're like, oh, wow, that's a nice little mouse pad. Look at that. It looks kind of clean. How clean do you really think it is? Look at how crystal clear it gets into the fibers. Turning that light off. Ring light on. Zooming in. Will it, will it focus in on that? Yeah, it will. Dude, we're getting surgical here. This is insane. Okay, so now let's go over some of the features that are on the screen. So you can use the puck or you can just use your mouse and go over it so you can rotate images. There's normal, left, upside down, to the right, normal. We can vertical flip it again on its own. It's got its own flip, but if you want to flip it upside down so they can see, got the flip and you got the horizontal flip. So you can flip it left and right, right there. All right. And then again, you can also freeze it right there from the screen with a click and it's frozen, unfreeze. Oh yeah. Here's another cool feature. Oh man. I said like, as we go on, it's like you forget some of the other stuff it does. So we're sitting here and we're looking at all these nodes and you're like, dude, all right, I want to look at the low, which one will click this pencil button right here. And then bam, bam. Oh yeah. Well, what about this one over here? Check that out. I don't even know. I I'm talking out my butt right now. I want this one over here to look more like this one over here. And then Barry Sanders took the handoff and he juked through the right guard and the right tackle and he got through. And then he saw a four six formation. So he had four linebackers in here. And then he went left. And he went through. And he did John Madden through. And he went boom. And bam. There's a okay. Uh, I can't see what's going on. We need to erase it. Let's start over. I oh, love it. And then again, if you want to take a screenshot, you can click it here and that saves the image. That was a screenshot. And again, they have the same features left and right. So if I want to do something to a specific screen, if I want to use my idea cam and then my main talking head cam on the right, I just come over here and I can rotate it. If I want to be laying on my left side, laying on my right side, if I want to be upside right, if I want to hang from my feet, I can do that and I can invert it over on my left, right? So I'm pointing left, it looks left. I'm pointing to the right on the screen and I'm pointing in the right in real life. Teaming it up with my Insta360. Man, 
the things you can do with this webcam when you use it alongside another camera in tandem just blows my mind. Just blows my mind. $200. That's it. The possibilities of this and this setup, because this is only $200. If you're a plug it and play stress-free person, you can get this and pair it with a $300 webcam that captures amazing images like this. You can still accomplish this kind of screen, 4K footage. You can get a Elgato Facecam Pro or an Insta360 link. And I love the Insta360 link because again, it's gonna follow me around for your talking headshot. As you're using it, Zoom calls, one-on-one, -on -one, family and friends, Bible studies, if you wanna show them details, let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers. Oh, in that middle notation right there, refers to 1 Peter 5, verse three, and then back to reading together. So let's say we're doing a live stream and I want to share something that I'm writing. I have automatic tilt down. And when I tilt it down, you saw it automatically flips it, tilt it up to me, flips it, hey, and then tilting it back down, flips it. And we're taking notes, Ben Q, idea, cam, amazing. All right, so as I'm holding this puck, by taking the ring, I'm able to zoom in zoom out there's the autofocus manual focus there's the mute so i can mute the microphone that's in the software and here's the freeze buttons by hitting this button here the freeze button it captures it and holds it and now i can take my puck and i can zoom in i can zoom out and that's really cool we have our magnifying glass we're going to pop it on and now we're going to get up close it's got the ring light that's on it Push the ring light that's on. Look at the detail of it up close. Taking that back off. That's where this really shines. You can really get in tight with jewelry and things like that and show them every little fine detail. You're able to just point this thing and angle it to get around every surface, every angle of what it is you're trying to capture to show your viewers. You can't do that with these other cameras. I mean, you can take them off and move them around, but the idea cam is designed for it. You don't have to fight with it. It does everything for you. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the other features that are in the software. If we just go to the bottom left-hand corner, you can see source settings, image settings, and filter. Source settings allows you to change the camera and the microphone that you're using in the software. Doing this through OBS for the purpose of this video, so we're just gonna leave this alone because it's not affecting our audio in any way. Let's see here, let's go in the settings in the bottom left-hand corner if you're following me here. You can change the resolution, and if you go to the filter, you can see it gives you presets. So you can go to natural, you can change the image of the camera. As we're clicking, there's gloomy. There's street, grayscale, promising, brawn, clean, green, blue, pink. Just, I, I don't know why, but just, you know, if you want to get creative with your content, sketch, photo, retro, process, negative effect, scanner, contrast, instant. Now, one of the things I wish that it had that it doesn't have, again, this is an honest review, is I wish they had an ISO uh, fader here so I could adjust my ISO to get rid of the whitewash that I get in my forehead. So right now I have my studio lighting set up as I would with my Sony ZV-E10 or other webcams or other camera devices, and I turn my ISO down. But as you can see here, with this, with the auto feature, it's not able to dim that down to get the whitewash, so you have to turn off some of your lights. So as you can see here, I just turned off my white overhead light to dim some of that down and that got rid of the whitewash. But again, now I feel like I'm getting a little bit more noise, but that's fine. I'm not buying this webcam to be my main camera A. I'm using this to be an accent tool to go with my camera to let me get into the nitty gritty and just allow me to do so much more with my live stream than I've ever been able to do before. Now on to the final thoughts regarding the BenQ IdeaCam S1 Pro. It does what it says it's gonna do and it does it well. It's a webcam designed for Zoom calls, conference calls, workplace, family, friends, or again, the workplace. When you need to get in tight, I mean, get surgical 
and have high pristine quality images at an ultra zoom setting. I mean, the detail this thing pulls out from the smallest of things, including this computer board, just blew my mind. You can't do that with any of the other webcams that are out there. Uh, you can't do that in real time in a live stream or a Zoom call with the Sony ZV-E10, but you can do that with this. This is an amazing tool to use with your live streams. So is it worth the $200? Absolutely. But that's not all. This is an honest review, so I'm going to give you my cons regarding the BenQ IdeaCam S1 Pro. My first con is the cable. I wish it was interchangeable. I get nervous when I have a cable because when the cable fails, I'm out a webcam instead of just having to get a different USB cable and then I'm good to go. Also, it's only five feet long. Some situations, some computer setups would dictate a longer cable. So you're gonna have to use a USB extension cable if it's gonna be short, it's only five feet long. Again, if it was an interchangeable cable, I could order a longer cable and it'd be one solid cable, one less failure point to worry about. And then thirdly, was the app. When you download the app to run off your computer, not the browser, the app that runs off your computer, it was very buggy. It crashed on me three or four times and it was glitchy and it froze on me when I was trying to switch cameras. So for the purpose of this review, to keep everything running smoothly, I went off the browser-based software and it was so smooth. I absolutely loved it. I'm gonna continue to use it in the browser-based because of the fact that I like using browser-based software because it's less of a load on my computer when I'm using my equipment. It can be very demanding as far as resources on my computer. I love the fact that when I was using this on a Zoom call, I was also recording on OBS and I had it in the software and I was running split screen. I had this webcam and the Insta360 link both running in 4K, no lagging, no glitching, no anything. And when I looked at OBS, I was only at 11% CPU usage. That's some good software right there to be able to do all that and not even remotely tax my computer one bit. I just love this webcam and all of this. Final thing, $200. I am very comfortable buying a webcam for 200. It's when it gets in that $300 range that I get a little nervous. I know they can shoot 4K footage. I know the Elgato Facecam Pro can shoot 4K at 60 frames, but when I'm spending $300, when I'm handing over $300, I'd rather hold on to it to get a mirrorless camera. This does more than just shoot great footage. It pulls 15 times zoom out of small things like a computer motherboard, literature, desktop mode, just the stuff you can do with this, you just can't do with any other camera in real time, on the fly, in a Zoom call or a live stream. You could get right up on a motherboard and get into the soldering and the fine tuning and the fibers and the dust bunnies that was on that thing that you can't see with the naked eye and you could see it with this in crystal clear image. Absolutely amazing. Those are my thoughts regarding the, I, the BenQ IdeaCam S1 Pro for $200. It's worth every penny. You're not overpaying one bit. The things and the opportunities that this can do to expand the ideas that you can do with your, uh, with your YouTube channel and your content creation. Whew, awesome. All right, so that's it for this episode of Level Up. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, or gently press it, whichever floats your boat, and the notification bell so you guys are notified when future content goes up. So until the next time, I see you in that video. That's next, because there's another one coming. Just got something mail today we got to review. That was terrible. Peace out.